So before I go off on a rant, does anybody else want to uh, have, say anything about this? About circular no, reasoning? But yeah, I mean, why uh, the stratigraphy, uh, as proposed by mainstream geology, is not an example of circular reasoning, i.e. strata are dated by fossils and fossils are dated by strata. Because it's not dated by fossils. <laughs> well, some of them are. That's the that's what they but, like to pick up on. There are no, some what, fossils. What it is is they find fossils of a given range in an area where they can't find the crystals, but they find the crystals elsewhere on the exact same land mass. And they can go, oh, we can see the strata here are this way. Therefore, the strata here that don't have the crystals, that don't have the volcanic layers, are the same age, too. I mean, the the layers go across the landmass, so. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is, however, true to say that some layers can be dated by the fossils they, they contain. I mean, in the loosest sense, you can say this rock has ammonites in it, and ammonites um, were only, only proliferated in the Jurassic and the Cretaceous, therefore, um, we know now that. That's because we've studied them enough to know this. Yes. Yeah. So this but is. But how did we know? We dated them elsewhere by a different method, so. Yes, I mean, this is what I mean to say, was we need independent dating methods to start off with. Um, so we need things like radiometric dating. And also there's the fact that we can generally go on the assumption that rocks deeper down are older, assuming that they're the right way up. Um, so once we've got independent measurements, I mean, for instance, if we want to date something like a sedimentary rock, we cannot date it directly by radio, uh, radiometric dating, nearly called it radioactive dating, <laughs> flat wrist. Um, but if we know that if there is, for instance, a lava flow above and below that layer and one of them dates to, I don't know, uh, 210 million years and the other one dates to 220 million years, then we can be fairly confident to say that the rock in between that is between those ages. Um, rocks of cancer, yes, thank you, Josh. Um, actually, well, I should say this, actually. There's... Um, where I live, there are a lot of houses built of granite and they have to be assessed every year for their radioactive uh, radon give out so that uh, they know whether or not it's at carcinogenic levels. So yes, living in a granite house gives you cancer. Um, but then I so say after a certain... We have, we have granite countertops. Does that count? Not yes. really. They're probably not even real granite, but they, well, they probably are radioactive if they're real stone. Um, yeah, I was a real stone. <laughs> yeah, okay. But uh, so after a point, we can say um, that you only find fossils of a particular species or a particular type uh, within rocks that fall between these ages. And then you can say when you come across another rock that contains these fossils, you can say that came from a time within this time range because those fossils only existed at those times. So it's, so it's never true that... Um, we can simply look at a stratum and look at the fossils and immediately go, well, we can date it by the fossil or look at a fossil and say, well, it came out of this stratum of rock. Therefore, we know that it's that old. I mean, one of the most interesting ones, I think, are the graptolites, which I think you, if you find graptolites in a rock by looking at the, the, um, the shape in which the graptolites grow, I think you can actually narrow it down to about one, the age of the rock down to about one million years uh, if you know what you're doing. So some of these are actually very precise. It's not just uh, hand-wavy, wishy-washy science. Um, 